Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I published a data set today uh, for people to uh, play with. This is a mostly text data, data set. It does have a QR code and a barcode, you can see it here. I'll provide a link in the video description below. So I've mentioned this before in the past, I'll mention it again. Most people think of object detection as like an object is something that you can either touch or hold in your hand, but object detection is just a collection of pixels like anything else. To Darknet, it doesn't matter if, uh, if it's a car that you're searching for or if you're training it to find text. It's the same thing. It's just a bunch of pixels. So this data set will uh, let people play with that a bit. Uh, and the data set includes the YOLO annotations as well. So I'm going to go through some images here and uh, just to show a few important things. Let's see if I can find a good example. So you can see here that the uh, M here, which stands for male, and an M here that stands for mar marital status, uh, Darknet YOLO correctly predicts each one, even though those objects look the same, the context around the object is what allows Darknet to differentiate between the two. And you can see the same thing here. There's a date object that it's finding, and it knows that this is a date of birth, DOB. And then the AVT down here, another date, but it knows which one is which, and it's not going to confuse them. And you can see the confidence levels are quite high. They're at 100 or close to 100. The last thing I want to point out is the user level, uh, which is a number between 1 and 5. Each level is a separate class, kind of like male and female. Uh, marital status is a different case, though. For marital status, I just made one class for that field. So that's about it. The data set includes um, the annotations, like I said. It includes the weights. So you can run this dark help command, which is what I just ran, uh, to show examples. So you can take images that start like this. And there's 100 of those images in the data set. And then once dark help runs, it'll look like that. As usual, I will provide links to all of the software that I use in the video description below. Thanks.